In this example, we want to convert 1.026 gallons to milliliters. So here's an example of a volume conversion. In our conversion table, you'll notice there is no gallon to milliliter conversion. In fact, based on the table that I have and you have in your notes, we've got a gallon relationship to quarts we have only a milliliter conversion to liters or centimeters cubed. And so again, here's an example where we're going to have to be creative and go find um, a path to get from gallons to milliliters. And so you can practice on this on your own with other problems. So here we'll go gallons to quarts. You notice that we have a quart to liter conversion. And of course, once we have liters, we can use this conversion to convert liters to milliliters. Okay, so let's do that. We'll start with 1.026 gallon, and we're starting with four significant figures. That's a captive zero, so that's significant. And so our answer should have four significant figures. times. So remember what we said first, we're going to convert the gallons into quarts and we want to cancel gallons. So that goes in the denominator. And so of course right here, gallons times quarts over gallons, gallons over gallons, that will cancel. Then we said from quarts we can convert to liters and cancel quarts. So now the quarts over quarts will cancel. And then finally we have liters that can convert to milliliters and cancel liters. So notice that we're putting these relationships together and in order so that we can see this canceling of all these units. So now that we know that our units work out, we can go ahead and plug in our values. So the relationship between gallons and quarts, four quarts for every one gallon. The relationship between liters and quarts is one liter is equivalent to 1.057 quarts. And then the relationship here for milliliters and liters, according to our table, one milliliter is 10 to the minus three liters. Now in some of your calculators, you might have to plug in one times 10 to the minus three, but 10 to the minus three is the same thing as one times 10 to the minus three. Um, the other thing that you can do, um, the inverse of this, of course, one liter is 1000 milliliters. And so that's something that we'll see regularly throughout the semester, but either conversion will do. Okay, so when we plug this into our calculator, remember our calculator is gonna give us a, a long number, 3,882.68685 milliliters. Of course, this is not our answer. We need to round to the correct significant figures. Here we want four significant figures. So 3,000, that's one. 800, that's two. 80, that's three, and two is four significant figures. We'll use our next value, six, this is greater than five, to tell us to round up. So our answer to four significant figures, 3,883 milliliters.